are not able to raise anything for themselves to go to school, including the orphans, especially. But now, these children who are in need, the orphans who need someone to support, are the ones chased out. Now they want children whose parents are there and have money, forgetting that God blessed this school to become big like this because of the vision of the orphans. Now this thing is totally, uh, this vision is totally twisted. Education is life. So for us to give life to these orphans, let's provide them education. Last week I came to the school and met assistant deputy head teacher asking him why they expel these kids who are orphans from the school. And the reason was that the government has introduced a running cost. Children have to pay some money to the government so that they are allowed to study and when the government produces exams, those children will be included in the list, in the statistics. But now they cannot allow them in the statistics because they don't have someone to pay for their running cost. So I told the head teacher these children have to continue with their studies in Salam. And the school administration, the current school administration, the head teacher, plus the SMC and the PTA, they have to work together and let these children study in Salam. And uh, after this week, I will want to meet some offices of the government, uh, especially the human rights office, that these children are expelled now at Salam School. Where will they go and study? Do orphans have rights to study or not? Mm -hmm. 
Malish. They use the most stronger even uh, language that is uh, compared to the one they used to Sarah. The current administration supported because when I asked the teachers themselves, I mean the um, deputy, the assistant deputy head teacher, he said it was not him uh, who intended to send the orphans out, but it is the committee of the school management, the current one, and the pastors from the church that have ordered him or told him to send away the orphans from the school. And that's why they used the language which was given to them, I mean introduced to them, by the, the, the management committees and the stakeholders of the school. So that is a language that is really used. It is a, it's not a lie from Sarah, but if you investigate all of these orphans, they will tell you more painful uh, words that are uttered to them by the school administration. <laughs> Idin, <laughs> Can you summon the cannon back or what in the cannon and the girl foot is sick a little? Pass at the Indian Afog, Yala Yalana would do it. This school was founded to take care of orphans and children in need, the vulnerable children who don't have the parents, who sometimes have the parents who are people, others uh, parents injured in the front lines, they are now disabled, they are not able to raise anything to support their children. There's nothing to be touched with from these children, even though they are brought by their relatives. But what, uh, their parents are not there. The relatives will not even uh, bother to, to support them because they have their own responsibilities also. So then they have to give us the statistic depending on how many are orphans and how many have parents. And when they give this, this statistic, because of the support, they are supporting us with a little collection from the office. And those who are orphans are not child.